Welcome Capricorn, we are going to be looking at what action you need to take this year using the Work Your Light Oracle cards, okay, and I have specifically pulled, pulled out the action cards out of that deck for you. Okay, so let us have a look at what action you need to take for 2024 Capricorn. I want it to flip out Capricorn. One card for Capricorn, please. Just get in the right one. There it is. Sisterhood of the Rose. Okay, Capricorn. Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Okay, we're going to read um, at the end, we're going to read it from the book and exactly what that is about from the book. But let's have a look what the cards say, eh? Sisterhood of the Rose. It's like there's um, a team of ancestors behind you on the floor. On the floor, of course. Let's make some room for that one on the floor. Tell me more about Sisterhood of the Rose or Capricorn, please. Sisterhood of the Rose. Have a look here. One's on the floor. Okay, Capricorn. I'll just pick this up. Okay, it looks to me like we have first off success here. Um, it's interesting because I feel like there's been a lot building up to this year for you and um, I feel as though Capricorn you are in a year that is going to be filled with success for all the hard work that you have done okay um, there's been some time of having to just wait periods even potentially a really long time for some of you four years maybe for some of you I'm getting 10 as well um, and it's kind of like there's, it's like the, the, the patience and the waiting, even if you've felt impatient, um, but the waiting has paid off or is going to pay off. Okay. Um, there's this integration card here, and I feel as though this um, there's a, lots of different aspects that have been happening for you. And when I'm looking at the Sisterhood of the Rose, we've got these ancestors and these guides and these angels that are here with you, past loved ones even, right? And um, it's kind of like there's been all this coming together of different aspects of your life. And this here has it's like there's been a cycle a cycle completed and now you're at the beginning of a whole new cycle okay it's been stressful it's been really really hard there's been some times where you thought that you would not make it through but you are here you are here right now looking at this okay we've got this breakthrough here we've also got sorrow and I feel like this is you completely and utterly breaking through these things that they have no power over you. And maybe this is the success that you'll have this year, Capricorn. You know, if you're not already, this is coming for you. So keep going, truly keep going. Okay, right around the corner after sorrow here, we have playfulness and this is you learning to express the magic that is you, right? Because at the end of the day, things can get so heavy and so stressful and we can forget to have fun. We can forget to go out. Like this is also about being transparent in your life of you just actually coming out and being truly and wholly yourself without any care in the world, without worrying about what anybody thinks, showing your magic, letting it shine, right? Um, this is, is incredibly important for you. Okay, we have no thingness here. And um, this is a blank slate. This is an absolute blank slate. And this is you coming truly and utterly into your own. Um, this existence card here. 
feel like there's going to be such an awakening for you of really understanding things from a um, a different perspective, understanding the whole, understanding why you're here, understanding what purpose you have in this life and how you fit in. Because it seems like it's been a real journey to get here and something's going to click for you. Something's going to click and when it does, you won't go back. You will not be able to ignore it, right? It's interesting because I have this real sense of urgency, a sense of come on, come on, come on. Um, like we're only five minutes into this now and it's like, you know, hurry up, hurry up, get the messages out. And um, and I feel like there is a need to take a step back and, and still practice this patience because when we are feeling impatient, when we are wanting things to hurry up, we miss what it is that we need to learn to get to where we want to go. And uh, this is important for you to understand that there's a need for you to embrace the whole rather than just the ending. It's about embracing the whole journey from beginning to end. And so this could be a good time to go over from the beginning of this journey and looking at just reflecting reflecting on it right writing it down looking at each major step along the way and what you've learned because as you near the end of this journey rather than rushing to the end to begin the new one it's important for you to take some time to reflect and absorb what it is that you have learned here okay um, because there are things that you feel like potentially you're missing out on, okay, or that you have been excluded from. Now, the thing is, Capricorn, that whatever is meant for you will be for you. It, it won't, you won't miss out. There are things that we believe are for us and they're not, but we wholeheartedly with all of our being, feel that that was for us. And it really wasn't. And we may not know why, we may not see that. But knowing that what is for us will always find us and be with us gives you a clue as to what it is that is for you. Because the, the, those things like in 2024 now, the things that are not for us will not be with us. And that might not be what you want to hear. As soon as you let go of the things that you're still holding on to that aren't for you, that weren't good for you, you'll be able to turn around and bring everything else in you'll be able to let go of the sorrow. You'll be able to step in to the joy and the playfulness that life has to offer you. Right? So this is why it's so important to go back and reflect because maybe you'll get a clue and you'll see the benefit of you being where you are at right now. It could be a job that you've lost. It could be uh, friendships. It could be family members. It could be a relationship. It could be a business, it could be a house, it could be whatever it is, a situation that you really thought was for you and it wasn't, you know. Because in order for you to evolve throughout your lifetime and the path that you're on, there's a particular direction and a particular path that needs to be travelled. And so... There's been, you've been traveling this journey, right? And it's actually been successful, even if you don't believe it has been. It actually has been. And this is where this going back and having a look and reflecting is important for you. Okay, 
we have this aloneness card here and this is all about you having learned to um, or learning to lead the way with your own light right and having fun about it knowing that you have the wisdom inside of you to travel this path and know which way is the best way for you because you're so connected into who you are right this new beginning of understanding who you are you can do that for yourself Capricorn you don't need anyone else to do it for you. You don't need anyone else to show you. You can do it for yourself, okay? And this is where it is so important for you to understand that where you are today and where you've come from, the importance of that journey, okay? Okay, so I'm going to find Sisterhood of the Rose. Where are we here? Here we go. Capricorn. Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and sending light consciousness all over the earth. A cross-section of ancient lineages. It is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature, as all the ancient secrets live here. Mother Earth is constantly whispering. Spend time admiring her creations and you will be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little more time to both notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world, of the world in your own way too. This could be through your own creations or in the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little more and the shift in vibration can be felt. The action that you need to take this year, surround yourself with beauty and create beauty wherever you go. Yes, and that reminded me of this card, right? really bringing out your authentic self and letting that shine right being one be understanding your connection to everything around you and understanding this path that you're on right the connection to nature and the beauty of that okay capricorn i am going to leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye